Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Uwe Scheer. I was scholar at the Institute of Advanced Studies, Kösek, and member of the Collegium Sonorum, which is the faculty of music at this institution, four years ago when I rediscovered the music you have already heard and will be hearing today. The first piece you have heard was the Notstandspolka, the state of emergency polka by Johann Nikodem. You don't know this composer, do you? Other compositions you are going to hear today are from composers you might not even heard of. Johann Nikodem lived from 1836 to 1881. He was the son of the last town fire watchman in Kösek. The town fire watchman's duties was not only to warn the inhabitants of a city in case of emergency, as it is within the profession's name fire and attack by an enemy, but also playing music on occasions. First of all, playing from the working place a tower of the city. In Kösek it was the tower above the city's gate that is now the Höschök Toronja, the hero's tower. Until now, it is a custom that music is played from the tower for the passerby, especially in the advent before Christmas. But the Toronyosh town fire watchman in Hungarian played also a dancing advent like balls and weddings. Within the Nikodem family were quite a quite big number of musicians. The family came originally from Bohemia, now Czech Republic. Beside this composition, we have many dance compositions in the style of the famous Strauss family out of Johann's Kill. But we have some church compositions from this family too. It is not so easy being able to distinguish between the members of the family. Therefore, we cannot say for sure if it, this Johann Nikodem was also the author of the compositions we have found in the Jesus Siva church archive. He was the first conductor of the city's orchestra. We don't know why this piece got the name State of Emergency, but so it was a good start for a little online concert in the times of the pandemic.
The author of the piece we will hear now unfortunately died in the pandemic 100 years ago. Ishlam Channel of Channel Haza is known first of all as a scientist, especially as ornithologist. He translated the section about birds of the Brehm's tear lexicon into Hungarian and brought foot tobogganing what we call skiing now, to Hungary. He was a nature lover like his father, Karlmann Channel of Channel Haza. He had another thing in common with his father, his love for music, especially for their instrument, the zither. Istvan Channel left us a notebook with his compositions. All of them are written for the zither, some of them are songs. All of the songs are written on German poems, with one exception. When he was on travel to Scandinavia, he must have passed Estonia, because he wrote down an Estonian folk song with Hungarian words. But we will not hear that but a lied ohne Worte, a song without words, so everybody will understand. One hundred fifty years ago, Sandor Karpaty was born into a German-speaking baker's family in Kösek. His name then was Alexander Flamisch. In spite of the poor financial conditions of his family, he got a very good musician so that he could earn money for his education to become a teacher by giving music lessons before the age of sixteen. At this age, he got student of the Lutheran College of Education in Schopron, where he started to teach some 18 years later. Having finished his education, there he moved to Budapest, where he acquired his teacher's diploma for elementary schools and for music teaching too. In 1892, he changed his name to Karpati. After having taught for a year in Oroshaza, he got teacher at the elementary school for boys in Kösek. He played an active role in the city's social life. He was a member of the Citizens uh, Casino, the Kösek Bicycle Club, Tourism Club, and wrote for the weekly newspaper Kösek Isch Videka. 
1905, he got teacher in Schopenhauer, as I have already mentioned above. In 1908, he married Ilona Tiefbrunner, by what he has got owner of the mill in Schopenhauer, Karpati Mill, today. They had together three sons, Zoltan, who became a famous botanist, Elemer, who was in the team who built the new Algebet bridge after World War II, and Laszlo, who became a teacher like his father. The mill was already in bad condition then, but the family used its garden to recreate. As a part of the Carpati 150 jubilee, this year there will be a bicycle trip from Kösek to the Carpati mill and the next day back to Kösek. The trip is organized by the same bicycle club of which the composer was a member when he lived in our city. In 1924 he retired, which was unusual even in that times. He thought his career as a teacher as a necessity to earn money for his family because his life aim was always to work as a composer. After his retirement he started to study composing in Budapest and worked as music critic for Hungarian and German newspapers in Schopenhauer. He composed six operas, four operettas, three melodramas, orchestral works like the symphonic poem Felta Modage, two string quartets, chamber music with and for piano, a lot of choral works for the church but also secular ones and leader. He won several national prizes for his compositions like the King's Prize and the Brunswick Therese Prize. Till he moved to Chopron, he published four compositions in the music journal Zenelu Mojorosa. We hear now an excerpt of one of these compositions, the Ilunga Keringö, Helen Waltz.
Peter Donal was born in the Czech part of the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy and came to Kusek at the age of 31. He left us mainly Catholic church music, but also several secular compositions like a Major Indulo, Hungarian March, and a German lead called Der Schmucke Zügling, that had been printed at Josef Eberles in Vienna, who was a very well-known editor of sheet music at that time. He was the church musician whose duties included playing the organ, conducting the choir and sometimes conducting the orchestra too. At the beginning of his term he worked at the two old churches on Jurisic Ter, but after its construction at Jesus Siva Church Kösek. He worked at this position for 44 years. Besides his activities as a church musician, he also taught music at the military school in Kösek and violin at the Lutheran School for Ladies. He died in 1931. That he was a highly estimated person of society can be seen from the very special place of his grave beside the Benedictitian's grave near the entrance to the cemetery church. We are going to hear a secular piece by Donai, the Kinderball, Children's Ball Polka. Ferenc Kovács was the city's music teacher in the first half of the 20th century. He was born 1874, a second child in the third marriage of his father, Karoj Kovács in Kösek. His mother was Therese Czukovic, a farmer's daughter from Boros Monostor, today in Austria called Kloster Marienberg. About his education, we know that he took theory of harmony and composition lessons with Richard Schieder, a teacher of the Musikakademie, Academy of Music in Vienna. Janusz Kuntner was his teacher for wind instruments. He spent his military service in Debrecen as a military musician in the 39th Infantry Regiment, where he could improve his knowledge. After his demobilization, they entrusted him with conducting the fire brigades, wind orchestra, in Hoido Bösermein, Komitat Hoido Bihar. He refounded the Kösek Wind Orchestra in 1896 by teaching boys from Kösek's wineries to play instruments to form a marching band for a start. In 1900, he shows up as author of an advertisement where he offers violin and scissor lessons. He led the orchestra continuously till 1950. At his 30th conductor's jubilee, he had already taught about 800 children, 
600 string musicians and 120 winds. He retired, but he assisted the ensemble, which got into a crisis in the following year for a few months. From 1906 he worked as a music teacher and conductor of the youth orchestra at the local gymnasium, grammar school, where he used to perform whole operas only with students of the school, soloists, choir and orchestra. Besides playing with his musician colleagues at performances in Kösek of traveling theatres, he played with a theatre orchestra in the cinema until the introduction of the talkies. In 1944, at the start of the city's music school, he taught wind instruments and double bass at this institution. We hear now the Tourista Indulo, the tourist's march out of his kill.